Chapter 11 Harmony in Existence Understanding Coexistence at Various Levels Recap In previous chapters, we have discussed the basic aspiration of human being that is happiness, prosperity and its continuity. Continuous happiness is to be in harmony at all levels of being from individual human being to family to society and to nature and existence. To be in harmony or to live in harmony, one needs to understand harmony at all these levels of being. So far we have explored the harmony in human being, family, society and nature through the process of self-exploration, self-investigation. In the last chapter on harmony in the nature, we saw that there are four orders in nature, physical, bio, animal and human. The first three orders are in harmony and are mutually fulfilling for each other. Human being has to understand harmony and to live in harmony, then the entire nature will be in harmony. In this chapter, we will talk about and explore into harmony in existence. At the end of this chapter, we shall try to relook at the harmony at various levels in the light of understanding the harmony in existence, that is the coexistence. Existence as units in space. Existence is whatever exists. The essence of whatever exists is harmony or mutual fulfillment. The essence of whatever is, whatever is to be, is to be in harmony and mutual fulfillment. That is how the existence is. When we look around, what do we see? We see so many things, the sun, the moon, the stars and galaxies, people, roads, buildings, farms, mountains, rivers, oceans, birds, animals, trees and so many things, right? When we observe more carefully, we see more subtle units like air and water, vapor. All these are units and they occupy a definite volume. Some of these have a definite shape and size. Is there anything else other than units? Yes, there is. So there are two types of, of basic realities in existence. One is space and the other is units. The units are in space no matter where a unit is or it is moved from one place to other. It is always in space. There is no way a unit can be taken out of space. Units are inseparable from space. They are indivisible in space. They are submerged in space. These two realities always coexist together. Existence is in the form of coexistence, which is in the form of units submerged in space. We will explore this in more detail as we go further into this chapter. Understanding units and space. There are innumerable units in existence. There is air, water, soil, earth, sun, moon, plants, trees, animals, birds, human beings, etc. We have explored these units in quite detail in the chapter on harmony in nature. Now we can see that these units are in space. The coexistence of the two is in the form of units submerged in space. We will now explore into some of the identifications, characteristics of units and space. Units are limited in size. Space is unlimited. We can observe units all around. They are limited in size. A unit may be small or large, but it is limited in size. For example, a pencil is a unit which is 
small in size the human being is also a unit but it is relatively bigger in size the earth is much larger compared to human being but still limited in size the sun is even larger than the earth but again it is limited in size thus all the units small or big are limited in size they have a definite shape and size every unit is surrounded by space it is the space around the unit because of which boundary of a unit is determined we recognize the boundary of a unit along the place where the unit ends and only space exists now coming to space it is unlimited it is spread all around it is all pervading there is no limited size of space we are not able to see its boundary there is one basic difference between units and space space is unlimited and all pervading whereas units are limited in size since units are limited in size they can be counted in numbers whereas space is unlimited we can count five trees eight people and so on while we can only say the space and not this space or that space as the space is all pervading units are activity they are active space is no activity every unit is an activity and is active in itself one or the other kind of activity is always taking place in the unit further the unit is interacting with other unit that is it is active in relation to other units for example look at your body can you see some of the activities going on in your body of course yes respiration digestion and pulsation are some common examples of activities happening in the body all these activities together find define your body in other words your body is an activity further you can see that your body is active it interacts with other units for instance your body may be used in the activity of cooking food plowing the field carrying loads and so on in this way your body is active when you look at yourself the activities of desire thought and expectations are continuously going on in it all these activities together define you self you can also see that your self is interacting with other units it is giving instructions to your body and re sensations for from the body for example in this way your self is an activity and is and it is active what about a chair is it an is it an activity is it active at first glance it might look like nothing is going on in the chair but on a closer observation we can see that it changes its shape size and composition over long periods of maybe 10 15 years has this change occurred instantly or gradually over a period of time all of us know that this process of change is gradual and becomes visible only after some time it indicates that activity is going on in the chair also with the help of science now we know that any object is made up of atoms an atom consists of finer subatomic particles and they keep rotating around their own axis and revolving around the nucleus all the time 
these atoms combine together to form molecules other larger structures and ultimately the chair the chair is also an activity further the chair is interacting with other units it is stable on the floor it is supporting the weight of the person sitting on it and so on in that sense it is active try to observe the units around you and find out some of the activities going on in them also find out if if they are interacting in a definite manner with other units you will see that every unit is an activity in itself and it is active in, a, in relation with other units when it comes to space it is no activity there is activity going on in units wherever there is no unit there is no activity in other words where only space exists there is no activity we can observe a whole lot of activities in ourselves we are imaging analyzing comparing uh, selecting tasting and so on there is a whole lot of activity in the body also it is breathing eating walking talking and so on in the environment of earth air water are constantly in motion trees are growing animals and birds are seen to be moving from place to place in search of food and so on the sun is also full of activity now if we see between the earth and the sun where there is no act, no unit where only space exists there is no activity space is no activity existence is in the form of unit submerged in space see figure 11 1 this is how the existence is units are limited in size while space is unlimited and all pervading units are activity and they are active space is no activity units are submerged in space understanding submergence where are units are they inside space or outside space tricky question isn't it units are in space they are submerged in space when we say units are submerged in the space it means units are in space they are inseparable from space where a unit is space is also there no matter where a unit is or it is moved from one place to the other it is always in space there is no way a unit can be taken out of the space or separated from the space existence is coexistence it is in the form of units submerged in space submergence implies three things one units are energized in space units are self organized in space units recognize their relationship and fulfill it with every other unit in space using figure 112 let us explore each statement one by one one units are energized in space being in coexistence with space every unit is energized the earth for example is in space it is submerged in space the earth is an activity it is rotating around its own axis and revolving around the sun are we supplying energy to the earth obviously we human beings are not supplying the energy to earth is the energy coming from the sun or is it happening just by being in coexistence with space the earth is energized being in coexistence with space however we may believe that the energy of the earth is coming from the sun we can see that the energy of the sun is coming from the fusion of the hydrogen atoms then the obvious question is where does the energy of the hydrogen atom come from we have to get to the base of it ultimately we find that the hydrogen atom is energized in coexistence with space we can observe any atom 
the atom is in space. It is submerged in space. The subatomic particles rotate around their own axis. Subatomic atomic particles in the various orbits also revolve around the nucleus. These and other such activities are going on in the atom. Where is the energy coming from? It is energized to be in coexistence with space. Observe yourself. The activities of desire, thought and expectation in the self are continuously going on. Are these activities getting their energy from the body? When the body is sick, do these activities slow down or stop? So activities of the self remain unaffected by the illness of the body. The activities of the self are continuous and this continuity seems to be independent of the state of the body. It will be interesting to reflect on this proposal. The self is in space and it is energized being in coexistence with space. The self is submerged in space and the body is also submerged in space. 2. Units are self-organized in space. Being in coexistence with space, every unit is self-organized. It is in a definite order. By being in a definite order, it exhibits a definite conduct. That is how one can identify or recognize and study that unit. We can observe an atom again. It is in a definite order. So many sub so many subatomic particles all playing a definite role. The atom has a definite conduct. Are we doing something for the subatomic particles to play their roles properly? Are we doing something for the atom's organization? The atom is self-organized being in coexistence with space. It has a definite conduct. The earth is also self-organized. It revolves around its axis. It maintains a favorable environment needed for plants, animals and human beings to survive. Since it is self-organized, is in order, all these and other things are happening on earth. Had not it been self-organized, we could not survive on the earth. The earth is energized and self-organized being in coexistence with space. Our body and all parts of the body are self-organized. Are we taking care of each and every cell, which are billions in number, of our body? Of course not. The body is self-organized, being in coexistence with space. 3. Units recognize their relationship and fulfill it with every other unit in space. Being in coexistence with space, every unit recognizes its relationship with every other unit in space and fulfills that relationship. An atom is in coexistence with space. It is energized in space as many activities are going on in it. These activities are self-organized, are in order and the atom exhibits a definite conduct. It recognizes and fulfills its relationship with other atoms and forms molecules. These molecules are an expression of atoms being in coexistence. These molecules are also in space. They are energized in space. They are self-organized, exhibit a definite conduct and they recognize their relationship with other molecules and form molecular structures. Similarly, larger structures like planets are also exhibiting the same characteristics in space. The human body is made up of a very large number of cells. All these cells are in space. They are energized in space. A whole lot of activities are going on in each and every cell of the body. These cells are self-organized, are active in a well-defined manner and exhibit a definite conduct. They also recognize their relationship with 
other cells forming tissues and organs ultimately the human body for example our eye is made up of very large number of cells these cells recognize their relationship with each other and fulfill their relationship that is how we are able to see objects through the eyes if you observe it more closely the cells are made up of large number of molecules and these molecules are made of atoms these atoms and molecules are also submerged in space that is they are energized in space self organized in space and recognizing their relationship with other atoms and molecules in space that is how molecular structures cells tissues organs and ultimately the body are formed all these are happening by virtue of this submergence it can be seen that the first three orders the physical bio and animal orders are already self organized by way of nature only the human order has to complete the process of self organization by its own effort by realization of this coexistence in existence and living in coexistence existence as coexistence units submerged in space in the light of above discussion on existence as coexistence we can now visualize the overall picture of the whole existence on earth we can observe the expanse of material units from individual atoms of various types to various molecules molecular structures cells cellular structures and so on as well as conscious units all submerged in space all coexisting recognizing and fulfilling each other the figure 11 3 depicts that expansion at the base is the coexistence it is in unfolding in terms of units submerged in space units are limited in size they are activity and are active space is unlimited all pervading and is no activity by virtue of being submerged in space units are energized self organized and recognize their relationship with each other unit in space and fulfill it materials and consciousness units units are of two types material units and consciousness units material units are temporary in time while consciousness units self seem to be continuous as we saw that their needs and activities are continuous in time in contrast to the needs of the needs and activities of material units which are temporary in time material units recognize and fulfill their their relationship their conduct is definite consciousness unit recognize and fulfill their relationship on the basis of assuming without knowing or assuming based on knowing the conduct of the human being is definite if it is operating on the basis of assuming based on knowing and it is indefinite if it is operating on the basis of assuming without knowing and this is discussed in chapter 5 in the context of the body a material unit and the self the consciousness unit knowing and assuming distinguishes consciousness units with material units as knowing and assuming is seen only in consciousness units but not in material units you can observe these characteristics in all material units take for example air water soil metal etc of the physical order or plant trees animal body and human body of the bio order all these units are temporary in time and are only recognizing and fulfilling there is no assuming in them the potential to know or assume is not there in these units it may be interesting to note that animal body and human body are also units of the bio order with this these characteristics 
all material units are composed of other simpler material units the smallest or the fundamental stable material unit is the atom all material units are ultimately configurations of one or more atom an atom may combine with another atom to form a molecular structure molecular structure can exist either as lumps or fluids fluids are the basis of a plant cell and such cells combine to form plants and the animal body and the human body how does all this take place is there something or someone controlling it these and such other questions may come up in our mind all these processes are taking place in a self organized manner in a natural manner from one simpler configuration in harmony to a more evolved configuration also in harmony that is what seems to be taking place isn't it coming to the domain of consciousness there is just one type of unit which we have referred to as as the self of course there are many consciousness units the self is characterized by the activities of knowing assuming recognizing and fulfilling it has the need to know as well as the potential to know this we explored by referring to our natural acceptance knowing means having the right understanding or understanding of the harmony in the entire expanse of our being a self may get associated with an animal body we see a vast variety of animals and birds it may also associate with a human body in this manner we can classify all units in existence into four orders classification of material units material units can be classified into two orders physical order and bio order in the physical order the smallest self organized unit in harmony is the atom hydrogen oxygen iron and uranium are some examples these atoms combine in a definite manner to form molecules these molecules are also self organized and exhibit definite conduct there are hydrogen molecules oxygen molecules nitrogen molecules in the atmosphere similarly there are innumerable molecules molecules in turn combined to make molecular structures water is an example of a molecular structure formed when two atoms of hydrogen combine with one atom of oxygen to make a water molecule benzene is another example of a molecular structure it is made of benzene molecules consisting of six carbon atoms and six hydrogen atoms like this there are many molecular structures now these molecular structures of one of our one of one or more types together are in the form of lumps earth is an example of a lump like that there are many lumps fluids are molecular structures a particular type of lump that is nurturing for the bio order examples of fluid are water amino acids etc like that there are many fluids so this is the unfolding of the coexistence in the form of physical order at each level the unit is in space it is submerged in space it is energized it is self organized it recognizes its relationship with every other unit in space and fulfills it there is a definite recognition and fulfillment of course at the base is the coexistence it is ever present coming to the bio order the smallest self organized unit is the cell in addition to the activity of formation deformation it has the activity of respiration it is also recognizing its relationship with every other unit in space and fulfilling it cells combine to form plants and trees cells combine to form tissues and organs in turn these combine to form the animal body and human body 
that is the unfolding of the coexistence in the bio order at each level the unit is in space it is submerged in space it is energized it is self organized it recognizes its relationship with every other unit in space and fulfills it there is a definite recognition and fulfillment of course at the base is the coexistence it is ever present classification of consciousness units in association with material units the animal order is the coexistence of consciousness that is self and the animal body which is the material there are numerous types of animals and birds for example a goat is the coexistence of a self which is consciousness with a goat's body which is a material this self assumes that it is a god and it has a will to live it has a definite godness in its conduct all its selections are based on this it selects the specific set of plants that are conducive for its body on the basis of tasting it is non cruel similarly a tiger is also the coexistence of a self with a tiger's body this self has the assumption that it is a tiger and it has a will to live it has a definite tigerness in its conduct it is cruel by nature and selects flesh as food to nurture its body it is like that for every animal and every bird the animal body has a definite recognition and fulfillment recognition and fulfillment of the self is based on assuming assuming itself to be the body with a will to live of course at the base is the coexistence which is ever present the human order is also the coexistence of consciousness and the human body there are many units in the human order the body may be black brown white tall short fat thin and so many variations the self is similar so in that sense all human beings are of the same type the human body has a definite recognition and fulfillment while recognition and fulfillment of the self is based on assuming and with knowing or assuming without knowing but with a will to live with continuous happiness the ever present coexistence is always at the base development in the existential sense now we can see that everything is in coexistence everything that exists is basically the expression of this ever present coexistence it is expressing itself in the form of harmony and relationship this unfolding is something which is happening and has to be completed through human being generally the belief is that the existence is material in nature the world of consciousness is not in the view at all consequently the entire focus of development is in the is on the material world and in in particular on the physical order whatever we do with the material world is cyclic see figure 114 no matter how much we do in the material world it is bound to stay cyclic you can see that there is a cycle in the physical order there is a cycle in the bio order and there is a cycle between the bio order and the physical order these cycles have been alluded to in the chapter on harmony in nature this part is cyclic in nature it is impermanent it will keep changing keep going back to nature no matter what we do in that sense there is no development here we can meaningfully use this part as a resource for human beings physical things have a role to play in its development a material world is fulfilling for the material body it can also be a resource for societal development 
the bio order can be a resource for nurturing the body the bio order in the physical order for protection of the body and the physical order for constructing equipment and instruments for use in societal development of course human processes of interaction with the material world have to be in tune with the natural laws they have to be cyclic and mutually enriching only in the human order there is a potential for development or transformation in the self which is not cyclic development or permanent change is possible only in the domain of consciousness so far there has been very minimal effort on the on this possibility due to the prevailing notion that human being is body material and the existence is material in nature now with this notion set right true development can take place we have explored this in quite a bit of depth while discussing the 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 self in chapter 6 it is in terms of activity completeness and conduct completeness of the self activity completeness is essentially developing right understanding understanding coexistence and right feeling feeling of coexistence in the self in other words it means awakening to the activities of contemplation of relationship participation in the larger order understanding of self organization harmony and realization of coexistence mutual fulfillment as discussed in chapter 6 conduct completeness means living on the basis of right understanding and right feeling part 1 is updating the sanskar acceptance is derived out of accumulation of desired thoughts and expectation in all time in line with the right with right understanding and right feeling part 2 is the expression in the form of behavior work and participation in the larger order the behavior with the feeling of coexistence within is fulfilling is mutually fulfilling for the other human being it leads to mutual happiness and or justice the work with the rest of nature with the clarity of coexistence is mutually enriching it leads to prosperity in human being and preservation enrichment protection and right utilization of the rest of nature the participation in the larger order leads to the fulfillment of human goal happiness prosperity fearlessness and mutual fulfillment in entire nature this development this transformation in human being is facilitated by education sanskar there is very every provision in existence for this development in this entire existence every unit from the smallest atom to the largest star from the smallest bird to the largest animal is in harmony out of the innumerable units in existence the human order is a very tiny part maybe even less than 0.1% when we see only a part of the complete picture we see a lot of problems related to human participation and we think that that is the whole reality when we see the entire picture then we see that the majority part of the reality is in harmony and only a tiny remaining part is not in harmony of all the that exists of the complete reality a major part is in harmony it is only this very percentage of human being as a society in which development is yet to be completed in the human being the human body is already self organized and has a definite conduct so that is not the problem it is the cell that remains to be self organized in the cell the problem is that it is operating on the basis of assuming without knowing all that needs to be completed is knowing knowing of coexistence 
harmony and relationship a human being has to complete this existential journey in figure 113 and 114 it is shown that the human order has two things to complete one is to ensure activity completeness in the cell and the second is conduct completeness this is the only development that has to be taking place in existence it has been described earlier as progress or as transformation from animal consciousness to human consciousness this is a development it is linear there is no going backward there is no cycle that is the only part of existence yet to be in harmony all human effort from time immemorial has been for this this part remains to be completed by human being natural outcome of the understanding the completion point for human being universal human order is also the completion point of the universal order in existence see figure 11 7 in that sense the universal human order and the universal order are synonymous can refer to figure 11 7 for reference the physical order the bio order and the animal order are already in harmony ensuring a relationship of mutual fulfillment with each other and are also fulfilling for human being all this unfolding of the coexistence has happened without the effort of human being by realizing the coexistence and living accordingly the human order will also be able to ensure a relationship of mutual fulfillment with other human beings as well as the rest of nature that is how universal human order is realized and its continuity is ensured as human tradition it is the completion of the evolution of human order of course this has to happen with human effort which has been the effort for humanity for all time this is also the total expression of existence it is the completion point of unfolding of the existence as coexistence my participation or value in existence that is to realize the coexistence and live in coexistence existence is all that exists it is in the form of units submerged in space the collection of units is called nature so we have we can visualize existence as nature submerged in space my participation or value vis a vis nature has already been defined so now the only remaining part is realizing that the existence is coexistence or nature submerged in space every unit is energized in coexistence it is self organized in coexistence and it recognizes its relationship and fulfills its relationship in coexistence my participation or value is only to realize or to understand the coexistence and live in coexistence expression of coexistence at different levels with this background we can see that all that we discussed about harmony at the level of individual family society and nature are basically the systematic reflection of existence as coexistence the existence is in the form of units submerged in space units are energized self organized recognizing their relationship with every other unit in space and fulfilling it recognizing the relationship and fulfilling it with other units is basically the relationship of mutual fulfillment at the level of nature this coexistence is expressed in the form of mutual fulfillment among all the units since the units are self organized and recognize their relationship with other units in a mutually fulfilling manner all the units put together are bound to be in harmony that is nature as a whole is in harmony at the level of society the four human goals that is happiness prosperity fearlessness and coexistence 
are an expression of coexistence at various level. Happiness, which is right understanding and right feeling, is basically understanding coexistence and ensuring the feeling and thought of coexistence at the level of the self. Prosperity is essentially an outcome of ensuring coexistence of human being with the rest of the nature which results into prosperity of human being and preservation of the rest of the nature. Prosperity is a natural outcome of living in coexistence with the rest of the nature by human being. Fearlessness or trust is ensuring the coexistence with other human beings at the level of family and society. Coexistence is ensuring mutual fulfillment at the level of entire nature. The program for fulfillment of these goals by ensuring the dimensions of universal human order from family order to world family order is therefore an expression of living in coexistence. At the level of family, the relationship is basically the expression of the coexistence of one human being with other human being. The nine feelings starting from trust, respect to love are an expression of understanding and acceptance of coexistence in human-human relationship. Trust is the acceptance of the coexistence between one human being and another human being. Love is the acceptance of the coexistence of one human being with every human being and ultimately with every unit in existence. Justice is the realization and fulfillment of coexistence of human being with other human beings. At the level of individual, human being is the coexistence of the self and the body. Acceptance of coexistence in the self for the body is the feeling of self-regulation. Expressing this feeling of coexistence between the self and the body leads to health at the level of body. Health also includes coexistence of all parts of the body. At the level of self, our basic desire for continuity of happiness is ensured by realization of coexistence, understanding of harmony in the nature, contemplation of participation in the larger order, leading to the feeling of coexistence, that is love, and thought of coexistence, which is compassion. Hence, all that we discuss at the level of individual, family, society and nature are basically the expression of coexistence at various levels. The whole discussion from chapter 2 to 11 can be summed up in the simple chart given below. It can be expressed in one word, coexistence. Understanding role of human being in existence. With this background, we can see that human being has a definite participation in existence. It is to complete the process of development through itself. When we explored nature, we saw that every order has a definite natural characteristics and that human being has to realize it for itself by effort. It doesn't happen by itself. The need for living with continuous happiness is innate in the self. The feeling of happiness is the indicator that the self is in harmony. If there is unhappiness in the self, it only means that the self is not in harmony. It is not in accordance with its natural characteristics. So it has to make effort to be in harmony, to be in accordance with its natural characteristics. In order to do this, human being first needs to understand its natural characteristics, its participation in existence, and then make effort to live accordingly. To, to explore this, let's first observe a few phenomena and the participation of human being in them. Let us find out what have we done for the rest of the nature to exist and fulfill a relationship of mutual fulfillment among the three orders. Nothing. They exist even without the human being and they are ensuring a relationship of mutual fulfillment without any human participation. 
what have we done for our body to be there hardly anything it is by way of coexistence what have we done for the self to be there hardly anything it is by the way of coexistence what have we done to have the activity of imagination and for the potential for knowing in the self hardly anything it is by way of coexistence what have we done for the self and the body to coexist hardly anything it is by way of coexistence you can easily verify that all this has happened by the way of coexistence without human participation in fact we can further see that human being itself is also by virtue of coexistence embedded in coexistence as a as an expression of coexistence now that we are there as human beings we have a definite role in existence role of human beings in existence by understanding coexistence we are referring to the self awakening to the activities of contemplation understanding and realization contemplation is about participation in the larger order about relationship with every unit in existence understanding is about the harmony in entire nature and realization is of the existence as coexistence all these together are called knowledge in figure 11 6 these three activities are labeled as block b1 the clarity about the coexistence harmony and relationship now guides our desires and thus all the activities of imagination that is desire thought and expectation labeled as block b2 in figure 11 thus the activities of block b2 are guided by the activities of b1 as dif- as discussed in chapter 6 if that happens all our desires thoughts and expectations are in line with coexistence harmony and relationship such guided imagination is called resolution the imagination is then always with the feeling of love and compassion the self is in a state of harmony within and therefore in a state of happiness continuously that is what we all aspire for the right feeling and right thought now becomes the basis of our behavior with other human beings work with the rest of nature and appreciation in the larger order now the behavior based on justice with human beings results into mutual happiness expansion of our behavior from family to world family leads to undivided society the work based on natural laws with the rest of nature results into mutual prosperity the participation in the larger order in the entire nature results into fulfillment of human goal expansion of such work and ex- and participation in the larger order from family order to world family order leads to a universal human order the continuity of universal human order generation by generation is called human tradition that is what we all aspire for see figure 11 6 this is the broad description of the role of human being in existence it is a description of the definite human conduct at the base is realization of the coexistence and at the other end in terms of the expression let's it gets completed with universal human order all this is facilitated by human education sanskar we can now see that there is a provision in existence for human beings to understand coexistence and to live in coexistence there is a will to live with continuous happiness in the self and it has the potential for the activities of contemplation understanding and realization 
by developing these activities of contemplation understanding and realization and lining up all the activities of imagination that is desire thought and expectation on the basis of these human beings can ensure living in harmony within all the time resulting into continuous happiness in the self natural outcome of the understanding the completion point for human being universal human order is also the completion point of the universal order in existence see figure 117 in that sense the universal human order and the universal order are synonymous can refer to figure 117 for reference the physical order the bio order and the animal order are already in harmony ensuring a relationship of mutual fulfillment with each other and are also fulfilling for human being all this unfolding of the coexistence has happened without the effort of human being by realizing the coexistence and living accordingly the human order will also be able to ensure a relationship of mutual fulfillment with other human beings as well as the rest of nature that is how universal human order is realized and its continuity is ensured as human tradition it is the completion of the evolution of human order of course this has to happen with human effort which has been the effort for humanity for all time this is also the total expression of existence it is the completion point of unfolding of the existence as coexistence my participation or value in existence that is to realize the coexistence and live in coexistence existence is all that exists it is in the form of units submerged in space the collection of units is called nature so we have we can visualize existence as nature submerged in space my participation or value vis a vis nature has already been defined so now the only remaining part is realizing that the existence is coexistence or nature submerged in space every unit is energized in coexistence it is self organized in coexistence and it recognizes its relationship and fulfills its relationship in coexistence my participation or value is only to realize or to understand the coexistence and live in coexistence